A very warm welcome to all our viewers. I'm Anjali from Simply Learn and today I'll be showing you the installation for Git on Windows. So we'll start by downloading and installing Git on our system. We'll then have a look at the Git Bash interface. We'll type in some basic Git commands. Next, we'll create a local repository. That is, we'll create a repository on our local machine. We'll then connect to a remote repository. And finally, we'll push the file onto GitHub. First things first, we need to download and install Git. So download Git for Windows. And I'll select the second link. So 2.19.1, which is the most latest version of Git, that's the one we want for Windows system. Choose your version. So mine is a 64-bit system and it's downloading. So this will take a while. So Git is finally downloaded. Now we need to install this on our system. Click here, run. So go to next. We don't have to change this path. Uh, just, so just click on in quick launch and on desktop. Next next again next nothing to change here either and install so now git is getting installed on our system so we don't need to view the release notes we just want to launch the git bash so let's just tick that and then click on finish and your git bash interface appears here so we are on the master branch the first thing we do is we'll check the version for our git. So the command is git dash dash version. And as you can see, version 2.19.1 on our Windows system, which is exactly what we just downloaded. We'll now explore the help command. So let's just type git help config. So config is another command. And as I hit enter, the manual page for the second command opened up, which is config. So what help command does is that it provides the manual or the help page for the command just following it. So in case you have any doubts regarding how a command is used, what a command is used for, or the various syntax of the command, you can always use the help command. Now there's another syntax for using the help command itself, which is git config dash dash help. Enter. This does the exact same thing as you can see. Now that we looked at the help command, let's begin by creating a local directory. So mkdir test. Now test is my new directory. I'll move into this directory. So cd test. Great. So now that we are inside our test directory, let's initialize this directory. So git init is the command for initializing the directory. And as you can see, as you can see the path here, this is the local path where a directory is created. So I'll just show you the directory test and it's completely empty. What we do now is we'll create a text file within this new directory that we created. So new text document and I'll just name this demo. I'll open this and just put in some dummy content. So hello simply learn. Save this file and go back to your bash interface. Let's just check the status now. So git status and as you can see, our file has appeared, it's visible, but nothing is committed yet. So this means that we have not made any change to our file through the git tool itself. So the next thing that we are going to do is we'll be adding demo to our current directory. The next command that we'll be applying is the commit command. And when you add certain files to the current directory, the commit command is applied on all the above directories. So git commit minus m and a message that will appear once the file is committed. So as you can see, one file is changed and one insertion. I'll just clear the screen. Next thing we need to do is we need to link our git to our GitHub account. So the command for doing that is git config global user dot username. And this will be followed by our username. So let me just show you my GitHub account. So this is my GitHub profile and my username is simply learn dash GitHub. So guys, before you begin this procedure, just make a GitHub account. Type in my username here, simply learn dash GitHub and enter. And there you go. Our Git is successfully linked with GitHub. Next thing we do is we'll just open our GitHub and we'll create a new repository. Give a repository name. So I'll get, name it test underscore demo and create repository. Great. So our repository is created. This is our remote repository. What we do next is just copy the link 
and then go back to your bash interface now we need to link our remote and our local repository so git remote origin and then paste the http link and now that our local repository and our remote repository are linked we can push our local file onto our remote repository so the command for doing that is git push origin master as we are on the master branch and that's done so now let's move back to github i'll just click on test demo and as you can see here our local file has been pushed to our remote repository with that we have successfully completed our demo if you have any queries regarding this please post them in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible so we looked at how to download and install git on windows we then implemented some basic git commands after which we created a local repository and a local file within we then pushed this file onto our remote repository and with that we come to an end of our tutorial i hope you guys found this very helpful if you did please hit the like button also subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet as we have more great videos coming up for you so this is anjali signing off thank you and see you all next time hi there if you like this video subscribe to the simply learn youtube channel and click here to watch similar videos to nerd up and get certified click here